You know, I'm from a, a rural area not too far from here. I, I grew up with chickens and sheep and dairy farmers on both sides. And when I am in Congress, I'm going to be representing the uh, interests of this rural area that is really struggling economically and for middle class jobs. Uh, what I hear everywhere I go in this district, and we have grassroots as well everywhere, is what people are looking for is not another career politician. <laughs> not another lot. They're looking for someone who is going to be independent, who understands uh, their issues, and who is going to fight and not listen to party leaders and not listen to big corporations. Mm -hmm. on, on the issue of, of John missing votes and yes. rebuttal, he said that at least some of those votes were, I mean, he said it was that he was being good for chance to call him to vote about the market. You know, I um, obviously he was in the right place for those votes. If it had just been 104 or 102, um, uh, then I, then I uh, have absolute compassion for that. But we're talking about 1,700 votes. And those are 1,700 votes that John Fasson has welcomed. Most people can't uh, take a paycheck and work for 1,700 times. And you know, maybe it's, if you take those out, it's 1,500 times. But 1,500 times John Faso is taking a paycheck, not showing up for work. And then after that, an Albany politician misses votes. After that, he goes on to you know, take a paycheck from payday lenders and big oil companies. He's a lobbyist. This is not a year where people want a lobby. Trying to take on corruption in Washington. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, I am not running her campaign. Um, I know, but you were just talking about Trump, and, and this is on people's minds. She collapsed nearly during the 9 11 ceremony, and she's been out of sight. I mean, this is a huge issue. You know, the biggest issue that I hear here is about, you know, people are pretty disappointed with both parties pretty angry about um, what's happening in Washington and what's happening in Washington. They know I've been independent. I've shown that before. They know I'm going to continue to be independent. And they're not looking for insiders to be representing them. We have opportunities here in the Hudson Valley and the Catskills to actually raise up ideas that local leaders are pushing around local farmers, around getting our dairy food farmers, around supporting local agriculture, supporting independent businesses. And when I'm in Congress, that's what I'm going to do. On the question of the campaign trail, are you finding that people support that? I was talking to uh, a woman who ran a campaign. Yeah, I just did a uh, She's a single mom. Uh, she has a respect. Uh, she's raising uh, two kids. Um, for her to live on $15,000, so clearly when I am in I do. Okay, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Gabe. Gabe. Gabe Lucas. Yeah. 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 Yeah.